A lot of times we're cultivating the wrong thing. We spend so much time fine tuning and chiseling and cultivating our human personalities and our, um, we become populist. You know, we're, we're so obsessed with popularity and notoriety when the truth is we should be cultivating the mind. <clears throat> we should be cultivating cultivating the mind because as the seven hermetic laws remind us, you know, everything is mental. So the eternal part of you that you will that you will cultivate the eternal part of you that you will that will pretty much mark your legacy that will maintain your legacy is your mental it's the mind so if you're developing the mind fine tuning the mind and getting the mind in a place where it's supposed to be then that's actually the energy that will remain when you're long and gone. Or long gone, I guess we could say, right? You know, I sometimes think about all of the the awesome works that I have been fortun fortunate to be the recipient and really I should say the steward of. You know, all of the, the beautiful um, literary works, um, all of the music, just, you know, just the creative works that people have done that I've been able to, um, hold and receive. Oh yeah. This is a basis for stability. Um, that I've been able to be in receipt of. I'm just actually, I'm, I'm reorganizing or not even reorganizing. I'm properly organizing these books in storage so that I can um, close the top because I need to. I need to move them from where they currently are, and they're um, because they were spilling out the top. That the lid didn't go on top of the case. But um, yeah. Sometimes we're just, we focus far too much on cultivating things that are temporary. And um, as a result, when those things fade, we fade. But I look at a lot of, like I said, the works that I, that I own. Or like, I really just call it being a steward over because, you know, when it comes to books and music and things like that, a lot of times... Um, a lot of times it'll be things that you end up, at least for me, end up giving to somebody else. You know, my nose is, excuse me for all this sniffling, but there's a lot of dust um, in some of these, some of these, because they haven't, they haven't been moved around in a good while. But um, a lot of the works that I really appreciate and I, it's the Bible, Masonic Bible. A lot of the works that I really appreciate and enjoy are written by individuals who are no longer present in the physical via flesh. You know? So, yeah, morals and dogma. So, what remains is the intellectual works. You know? The intellectual works are what remain. So you start to realize that um, when you cultivate the mind and you put effort into your, oh, I gotta put some tape on this binding. Yeah, I'm gonna put tape on the binding. Uh, but when you when you spend that time, very old text. It's the lexicon of Freemasonry. I have like two or three of these. These are very hard to get now, too. At least the real ones. But, um, yeah, when you actually take the time and the effort 
to invest in the brain and the cultivation of the mind, that's what will that's what will remain when you're long and gone. You know, when you're no longer here, that's what people will still appreciate death touch, the mock. But um, yeah, I know you guys are probably saying, "What's up with all the, the Denmark?" <laughs> hey, we're not always reading books and sitting in chairs comfortably. Sometimes we're we're doing other things, or we're preparing to do other things. But, um, yeah, you got to cultivate, yeah, you have to cultivate the mind because, um, mm -hmm. yeah, gave that knee, kneecap in because, um, that's your eternal part. That's the part that goes back into the collective pool of information. And um, will feed people going forward. You know, most of your nourishment that you will even do. Yeah, Encyclopedia of Denmark, yeah. Um, that's the stuff that will really speak to your legacy, cement your legacy. You know, so important. You know, I work with a lot of people and they, they spend so much time trying to cultivate themselves into um, uh, into spaces where they have title for now. They have notoriety for now. You know, they have some, some or as like we like to call it, staying, yeah, Eldridge Cleaver. Another, you know, most of these books, the authors are no longer here in the physical. You know, Eldridge Cleaver, he transitioned, of course. He converted to back to Christianity before he um, transitioned, you know, he was exiled for a while. Um, interesting enough, recently um, uh, Bobby Hutton, his his anniversary had just passed. If you know the story of Bobby Hutton and how it relates to Eldridge Cleaver, but anyway, a lot of these people, and yeah, you know, a lot of them are not even here anymore. Who wrote these works, children? You know, psychology of children. That's a big one. Yeah. Um. Uh oh, something broke. I'm gonna try to set put these in here properly this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know. Work on the mind, man. Work on the mind. The mind is, is more critical than a lot of people might realize, you know, because that's the forever piece. Yeah, that's the forever piece. And most other things are temp. Yeah, most other things are temp. Yeah, October 16th, 1995. What a beautiful day that was. That was such a wonderful time. I don't know where all the dough is, though. We passed up a lot of money. We passed a lot of bills in that, that plate. I don't know what happened with all the money. Ah, but, you know, that's neither there. There's the minister. Yeah. It was a beautiful day, nonetheless. Yeah. Oh, man, man. That one needs tape, too. Man. Um. But, yeah, you know, just work on the mind. Work on cultivating that more. Um, yeah, pictorial history of the Jewish people.
now I can start putting these back in in a way that makes sense. Yeah, most of the people who've wrote, written these books that I am moving through here are no longer even present in the physical, you know. Um, but their works live on. You see? See why the mind is so important and it, and it gets skipped over so often? You know, it's the part that, you know, really counts in the in the long run, if you will. Yeah, the Masonic bylaws. Every application for admission in the Masonic fraternity through this lodge shall be by written petition signed by the applicant and recommended by at least two members of the lodge and delivered to the secretary together with the sum of $10. The lodge received the petition. It shall be referred to a committee of three member other than those who recommended the same who shall diligently investigate the standing of the applicant and report to the lodge at its stated communication one month thereafter. Yeah. <clears throat> Masonic lodges just want to be Kemet. <laughs> that's you know that's ultimately that's <laughs> that's their their purpose is to recreate Kemet because you know America's supposed to be Kemet. All right, I'm gonna put the big ones in first. I could go. Well, I'll go flat first. I probably have to distribute this between two different. I'll go like that maybe. Try something different and then put the other ones this way. Maybe. Nah, it ain't gone. Well, I'll have two rows this way. If I go up, I'll have a higher. I might be able to get two rows. But let me start my big ones first. <clears throat> That's what happens when you teaching this stuff a lot and you're quickly looking for stuff. If you don't stay on top of your text, they'll get crazy like that. You know? And then, um, then stuff is difficult to find. Yeah, but yeah, gotta have my demo. I might take some of this Denmark stuff. Put it. I have another, another collection just for all of my martial sciences. Maybe that, maybe that stuff should go over there. Yeah. Don't y'all try Denmark, Denmark at home. <laughs> It's not for the uninitiated. Actually, I'll, I can put these on the side like this. So I got extra room. Um, yeah, you be going around poking people with your fingers. You're just going to upset them. Leave people alone. Don't be trying to screw with people's meridians. This is more side action. Yeah, we're gonna make this happen. But anyway, that's all I wanted to really say. You know, while I'm over here doing this, got more side action in the back right here. You know what I'm saying? I'll just put it on an angle, it's fine. As long as I get it all in flat, because these are gonna be coming back out soon and going on a, on a different bookshelf. I just, I just need to pack them for travel purposes. I'm moving some stuff from one location to another right now. <clears throat> Setting up a separate library. You know, it's going to be nice. You know, I know libraries are kind of played out now. <laughs> Nobody reads books like they used to. But um, there may come a time when we don't have access to the cloud. For whatever reason, you know, maybe you might not pay your bill or something. I don't know. And it could be an EMP strike. But in any, in any case, you know, you might not have access to your online library. Or sometimes, I mean, it's good because you most libraries now, you can go and take out um, electronic books, e-books, you know, which is cool. Because, of course, if you take out an e-book, you don't have to, you know, wait for someone to who may have had the book out or whatever. The cool things about ebooks too, because the libraries make them so easy to take out now. The cool thing about taking out the ebooks too is once you take out those ebooks, you know, if anyone ever needs to profile you and get an understanding of what it is that you like 
and what it is that you don't like and what your interests are, they can now digitally track you more easily through all of the ebooks that you took out of your local library. So that's kind of cool too. You know, if you ever want to be profiled for any reason, you know, make sure people can find you. You know, because sometimes people get lost. And should I do that? No, nah, I'm, I'm being I'm being over ambitious. Sometimes people get lost, and maybe an agency might want to find you or something. You know, so. It gives them the opportunity to go and look at your old things that you took out of the digital library to get a, yeah, there we go. This is working to get a sense of where you might be, you know, cause your whole, your whole personality, your whole personality is there. I don't know if I'll be able to, I might have to, no, nah, I got the sides, right? That's why I did the sides. All right. I think I got this. Yeah, we can close it now. In fact, I could put some more joints in. All right, that's it. Where's it? Where's the cover? Where's the cover? Oh, right here. Duh. And there we go. Closed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Peace.